Do you ever dream about having a simpler, happier lifestyle with less stress, even if it meant making less money? And would you be willing to do it? Hi, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, A Resilient Life. I'm Ronnie. You're not alone if you dream about getting off of that hamster wheel and living a simpler and happier life. Myself, I've never wanted to stay on the job my entire life. So for the most part, I lived frugal to save money and worked towards becoming 100% debt free so that one day I could break free from it all. And I've been able to achieve that. I'm fully retired now, absolutely love it. Uh, I'm happier too. I'm living a simple, uncomplicated life, which brings me a great deal of enjoyment. In fact, I'm enjoying myself so much that I can't even imagine myself ever going back to the daily grind for anything. And yet, as much as I am enjoying myself, when you retire, there are certain adjustments that you have to make to this new lifestyle because your income is lower. And after juggling it back and forth, I have decided that the pros are greater than the cons, the positives are better than the negatives, and the benefits are well, well worth it. In just a moment, I'm gonna share with you four lifestyle adjustments that I've had to make in retirement. But before I do, be sure to hit that thumbs up button that you'll find down below. And please subscribe. By doing so, it helps this channel and I can keep the content coming. And so I thank you in advance. Number one, my lifestyle has had to adapt to my new bank balance. That's right, that's reality. Things like eating out in high-end restaurants regularly, splurging and spending, these are things that I can no longer afford like I could whenever I was working, and so I've had to adapt these things to my new bank balance. But honestly, I haven't even felt the pain of these cutbacks. It hasn't been inconvenient at all. As it's turned out, I realize now that many of the things that I used to spend my money on before didn't even really matter that much to me in the first place. I don't even miss those things. Instead, I enjoy my freedom more. I wouldn't go back to the daily grind just so I could dine out or make payments on an overpriced vehicle for anything in the world. I'm happier now. I'm living a simple, uncomplicated life, and I have decided that as long as I still have decent clothes to wear and a roof over my head, and I can live in a comfortable home that is 100% mortgage-free, and I can come and go as I want and do as I want any time that I want, then I'm good. I'm all good. For me, the most important aspect about retirement and the most important thing about money is having my freedom, not being able to spend extravagantly. And I've also discovered something else. These cutbacks have not been difficult. They were just different, that's all. Adapting has been easy for me and fulfilling. The truth is, I really like the feeling of being grounded and connected to a simpler lifestyle. Instead of hustling about and splurging all the time, a simpler lifestyle brings calm to me and any adjustments that I have had to make have been well worth it. Number two, there are travel restrictions in retirement. Yes, there are. Despite what the shiny brochures and travel magazines and retirement magazines say, there are travel restrictions in retirement. Now, one of the reasons we look forward to retirement is to give us free time so that we can travel. And we dream about these grand trips and checking items off of our bucket list. But the trade-off is you may not be able to afford those pricey destinations like you could before. Instead, you might end up having to stay in an Airbnb or some other form of humble lodging. But that's okay too. In fact, it doesn't seem like a downgrade to me at all. And what I mean is this, over the years, my, when my wife and I were working full time, we did a great deal of traveling and we took our fair share of vacations and we traveled back and forth across the country from one side to the other. And even then, when we were traveling with a higher income, we learned how to be frugal with our retirement, uh, with our travel spending, 
and still enjoy ourselves. Instead of going to tourist traps and standing in long lines and throwing down an excessive amount of money for ritzy hotels, we would often choose out of the way places where we were able to slow down and immerse ourselves into the local culture, uh, meeting local people and enjoying local foods. Um, and now that we're retired, we're still doing it the same way, just on a uh, fixed budget. And this has not been a painful adjustment for us at all. And personally, I find these kind of trips to be more enjoyable anyway. The thought of going to Disney World and throwing down a few thousand dollars and standing in long lines all day and, and spending $35 for a, a hamburger makes me cringe. <laughs> There are travel restrictions, but you could still fully enjoy yourself. Number three, I have to pay closer attention to my finances. When you're working full time and you have a steady income, you have a large buffer between you and being broke. But when you retire and you're on a fixed income, you have a smaller buffer between you and being broke. And so you have to watch things more closely. But over the years of training myself by living a frugal lifestyle, it has helped put a lot of things in perspective for me. And what I mean is this, not everyone in the world is rich, including me. But most people still live relatively happy, fulfilling lives, full of activities, family and friends, and still succeed at making ends meet. And so the practical solution for me to deal with this smaller financial buffer is that now I have to stay on top of my finances and monitor my spending. And this has helped me realize that if I behave sensibly, I'm going to make it. I've got enough, I just have to watch the numbers. And then number four, I have become more resilient and self-reliant in retirement. I've always tried to be a resilient person and self-reliant as much as possible. And this means taking care of yourself, providing for yourself, being resourceful, and frankly, just having some grit to make it through the tough times. And if you ever want to have financial independence and to be able to retire one day, it's all on you to make it happen. No one else. Now, it would have been easy for me to just coast through life, living like there was no tomorrow, always just counting on next week's paycheck, and then hoping that someone else would be there to take care of me at the end. But I decided I couldn't take that risk for somebody else to show up at the end and take care of me. I decided that I needed to take action myself that it was up to me to provide for myself and to take care of myself. And so I had to make some tough decisions about what I was willing to do and not do with my money. And I had to choose if I was going to live frugal or if I wanted to live extravagantly. I had to decide what was most important to me, my financial security and future freedom, or did I want to spend the rest of my life on the hamster wheel so that I could buy high-end consumer products? And I had to ask myself, is the trade-off worth it? Which way? And as I navigated this decision-making process and learned to cope with the ups and downs of transition, I developed a great deal of resilience. And by the way, that's the name of this channel, A Resilient Life. And since I have retired, I have become even more resilient because the skills that I use to get me here are the same, are the same skills that I'm using to keep me here. Listen to this. Becoming resilient and providing for yourself is an important skill for anyone to have because it lessens your dependence on anyone else. Your employer, the system, the market, the man, or the government. I don't owe anyone anything. And the peace of mind and the liberty that this gives me is worth its weight in gold. I'm not worried about a market crash either. I'm not rich, but man, I sure feel like I am. 
living this kind of lifestyle makes me feel like a millionaire and I wouldn't give it up for anything. But the thing that has made me happier more than anything else is being the master of my own uncomplicated life. <laughs> and it has been worth it. A simple life is much more fulfilling than anything else that I have ever experienced in my life. And you know what else? It's possible for you too. So let me encourage you to take steps towards living a simpler life. Prepare yourself for retirement. And yes, it might mean living off of less money, but you can make the adjustments and they're not painful at all. In fact, they're quite easy to make when you have a goal in mind. Well, that's all for now, but I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on this topic. What's your idea of success? And what kind of adjustments have you made in your own life? And how has it improved your life or given you a more fulfilling life? So leave me a comment below, hit the thumbs up button, please subscribe, take care and we'll see you next time.